You can't kill me, boy. Spare me the time. No matter how many times we kill each other, nothing will change. Go home. You're right. That's why I'm not fighting you this time. What? I can't make you stay away by winning a physical fight. So now, I will mentally and emotionally scar you. Ho hold up, wait a minute. Take your loincloth off, now. Z Zagreus, wh what in the name of hell are you doing? You, stepdaddy. Step, step? What are you, oh sweet Titus! King of hell or not, no one is ever ready for the two foot long hell made schlong that can outding any dong. My ass, my ass, it hurts, I'm bleeding. You defeated now, bitch? <laughs> Please, spare me. I'm not done using you like a sock yet. Keep your pretty mouth closed while I become your daddy. I wonder how Zagreus is doing. What in the name of Olympus is he doing? Uh, looks like he's finally getting his pecker away. Hold up, is that Hades? By the gods, this is even for me. This is truly morbid and terrifying. I'm aroused. Zagreus is definitely the next animal I'm hunting. Sweet Titans. He's going to war on Hades in his unholy hellhole. Usually I drink for fun. But now I'm gonna drink to forget. Is there any boon I can give Zag to speed this up? Or would I just increase Zag's thrust speed? Everyone sit down and shut up. Granny is getting off to this. Hades might just be the first roguelike to get it just right. The last roguelike to get me even halfway stiff was Fallout 76. On Steam, this game has a 98 positive rating with overwhelmingly positive. Don't let that score fool you though because it's better than that. But, to play Retard's Advocate, I'll go side with the just under 800 negative reviews. Let's see what they had to say. I'm sure whatever they said is some very interesting and unique commentary. I regret buying this unfun and infuriating game. <laughs> you regret buying it? 45.5 hours in and you regret buying this unfun and infuriating game? When'd you come up with that conclusion at 45.4 hours, you moron? Too grindy takes a lot of time for a single player game. You've never played a single player grindy game before, huh? They don't exist, so I would be I'd be pretty bad too. Huge rip off, the game is called Hades, but you can't even play as him. Shake my head. Wait, what? Hold up. You, you can't, you're not Hades? That's not, oh. This game blows. 0 0.1 hours on record, no thanks. After 30 seconds of play, I am incredibly disappointed. Who? Designs a game where you have controls for up, down, left, and right, but where all the scenery is diagonal, you can't even move by point clicking like Diablo. Talk about stupid gameplay. Stupid. Yo, retard. It's called Q-E-Z-C, baby. Those cues are for moving in diagonals. Idiot, you never used mouse and keyboard before? You don't get to play as Hades, you instead play as the son of Hades. Unplayable. Two people. Two other people saw it, I didn't see it. Stop reading the negative reviews and buy the- No! Dude, you spoiled my whole review, are you kidding me? To be transparent, I don't usually enjoy roguelike games. I find them mundane. But, I couldn't ignore the overwhelmingly positive rating and I bought it on my Switch. Hades is, in fact, not about the big man himself, or his redonkulous beard. But it's about his son, Hades Jr. Even with the wrong name, they find a way to make a rich story driven game with so much unique dialogue I haven't even seen repeated lines yet, and I'm 30 hours in. I have slapped my poppy down six times. When you beat the final boss, that's not even the end of the game. If the credits rolled after the first one, I would have walked away right then and there. But it's part of the story to break out of hell a bunch of times. This game captures Zagreus' frustration by making you, the player, frustrated. The only times in my recent memory I related on an emotional level to my characters was Red Dead 2 with Arthur Morgan, Ghost of Tsushima with Jin Sakai, and the antagonist from Hatred. Two out of three of those are true. It's up to you, Brainiacs, to figure out which two it is. 
By the 20th time you get to your big daddy, Zagreus sounds exhausted with brand new interesting dialogue. No. No mournful speeches. Now get out of my way. You impertinent brat. Fine. Impulsiveness runs in the family. You, the player, on the other hand, are exhausted too, except you still have the same stupid ass dialogue. I look forward to getting back to the surface to beat his pale ass back to hell every time. But poor Zag needs some help. That's where the relationships, weapons, and gods come into play. Relationships equate to basically giving everyone gifts. It's shallow, sure, but offers more unique dialogue. The more you give them, the more they offer in return. No one told me in Greek mythology that hell was filled with gold diggers. Instead of sexual favors, he just gets help waka waka, thumping his old man's unwaxed, oddly perfect ass. Would have preferred getting some clap though. Oh, wait, nope, you do. Hey Maggie, I know we fight a lot, but make yourself useful and get to sucking. Peanut butter and the three heads of Cerberus just aren't doing it for me anymore. Uh oh The weapons at first seem lacking. Only six? Nope. They got as many variations as we have genders, baby. Not to mention that with boons from the gods, weapons can play completely different by the end of the run. Playing Hades is like walking outside with a wooden sword and having the task going to the White House and falcon fisting anything that moves cause your hands are rated E for everyone's easy. The journey starts slow, but by the time you arrive you actually have three Damascus steel fire swords in one. You fart lightning, constantly dashing like a mad lad, a protective bubble shield around you, the ability to surf the wave, dudes, Aww. and critical hits every time you swing your triforce. <laughs> now that you busted all the way through and have made your way upstairs, it's time to yabba dabba do el presidente. Alright, what the f***? Oh, I'm Joe this Biden. Dick is I'm gonna ride this dick. Sleepy Joe, you're gonna make America come again at this rate. <laughs> I thought you guys hated each other. What, what the hell is this? Sleepy Joe, this is how you build a wall. Why y'all humping the Oval Office? I thought this was fraud or something. Now you guys are banging? I was gonna ban guns, but I'm about to ban this dick. This is the greatest deal in the history of deals maybe ever. Alright, America. Best you owe me one. Oh, sleepy. <sighs> Now I just need to make a Twitter account, get verified, and tweet whatever the hell I want. Ooh, hey Kanye. Makes you feel any better I voted for you. I'm Jesus. My wife's money's my fallback plan. I'm also basically Kanye. Now get the fuck off my throne. Whatever you say, gay fish. I ain't gay if you sucking me. Did you say something, Mr. Jesus? Nah, little man. Just get back down there and keep sucking. I don't know. Seems pretty gay to me. I ain't no gay fish, little bitch. Y'all gotta drop that joke, man. You can't talk to your god emperor Kanye Yeezus like that. <laughs> hey, baby. Your ad's, uh, your ad's coming later. You can't be here yet. Aw, don't worry, sugar nips. I'll let you be on top for the first time tonight. Oh, boy. Some gods are more useful than others, and some abilities are almost like a crutch. Looking at you, Athena. I enjoyed the overall unique boons they all provided, even though a few are a bit lackluster. Whoa, hold up! Damn, Aphrodite! Put some clothes on, you trying to get me in trouble with YouTube here! Whoa there, mama! Put a bag on that bad boy cause the 5% is ruining the other 69% of this picture. I could put 5 pounds of makeup on that portrait and it would still look like a dude. The bosses you fight through your runs are the same, but sometimes with slight variations. First one is Meg. The first time you fight her she might be hard, but the other times all she can do is waste your time as you push on to the real opponents. Not only that, but give her enough goodies and she will make you harder than your stepdaddy ever could. Next, it's the Hydra. I never lost to it. Ever. Period. Hydra is the bitch of this game hands down. You can't convince me otherwise. The next boss is a combo with Theseus and Asterius. It's a cool fight, but I'm tired of pummeling this Chad to death only for him to come back with newfound big dick energy and his butt buddy here blowing his load of admiration every time I encounter this fight. I'm well equipped to deal with you, short one. Though I know better than to disregard your might. Speak for yourself, Asterius. I, for one, know only pure contempt for this foul demon and his underhanded fighting style. A style we shall easily dismantle now. But, I always say hi, 
to my favorite shade. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Lastly is Pops. No matter how many times you fight and kill him, he will always be there, ready to throw down again. I respect that, but also, piss off, you absolute cunt. You. Ho ho, wait, hold up. Our sponsor for today, an up and coming company, Renta Kratos. You tired of Greek gods existing? Well, say less, because they have the solution for all of your problems. Kratos will consensually remove any godly obstacles from your path. They have multiple package deals right now. The first is Get Me Out of Hell bundle. It will be the last time you ever have to fight your way out of home. The mid-tier bundle is Greek Genocide, where he just takes care of all beings who have ever considered themselves Greek gods. But hold on, if you have the cash, the top tier bundle, it's worth it. This bundle is the F*** All Your Mythologies bundle. In this bundle, Kratos will literally wipe Greek mythology and one other mythos of your choice from existence. You don't like the Nords? Gone. Don't like Egyptian gods? Poof. Bye bye. Jesus? Better start running. <laughs> unless it's uh, unless it's Korean Jesus, then we all lose. Use code Savage to get 20% off your first purchase, and get the hell out of hell today. Hades is one of my favorite games of 2020, besides Ghost of Sushi Island and the Corona game. I give this game a 4.5 Zeus's unclaimed bastard children out of 5. It's worth it at full price, unlike your mom. The devs did an amazing job and deserve all the credit they're getting. Speaking of credits, I want to give credit to Neatpick for allowing me to use his gameplay in the background. You're a beast. A savage beast. Check out his channel, link below. Make sure you guys subscribe to him, he uploads very frequently. And without him, I wouldn't have been able to get this review out or the gameplay because unfortunately, I had a hard time recording on my Soldier Boy console. Two facts about Kenshu. One, you need lightning reflexes to beat this game, like attack dash dash attack within a second. Woo! Two, or you need lots of tries, run, to improve, bit by bit, your character, and be able to beat the game. English. One, I don't have that skill anymore. Hey, I'm in the 40s. <laughs> Two, if the game becomes kind of work, it's not a game anymore. If you are like me, don't buy this game. Otherwise, buy it. You'll love it. Obviously, you've never played Home Flipper before because that's a work game that people love. Two, I'm in my 50s and I still crush at this game and it took me like 30 hours, half the time. So, you're a scrub. 69.6 .6 hours though? You did that on purpose. Noise. No. Zacharias doesn't castrate Hades thereupon casting his gentleman's vegetables into Tartarus or violate Persephone thereupon devouring the offspring. Negative 100 out of 10, not Greek mythology. You know what? You're right. I want to... Can I... We're going to go into a negative thousand. You didn't hit it hard enough. Not a good game. I liked this game when it was called Bastion. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was... <sighs> I'm going to get you a special on Netflix.